Last but certainly not least is the traffic rail. And so I've copied that resource file over to where we're working and open up that model. And so let's go ahead and get started on that. We'll turn off our triad just to get that out of the way. And then we'll go to change our colors. And so this is gonna be our first section here. And we can change all of them. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is the one that we're actually going to be storing. And so we'll go ahead and select our change color there. And that's going to be to concrete color 11. And so you'll see that that uh, is changed. And so now what we will do then is go to, again, manage and open our resource file. And if we go to select, you'll see just the two entries there, the left and the right. So we'll do a print screen for spelling. And then we will create our first entry. So we'll create our cell origin location. And then we will put that in our selection set and create. And this first one is going to be S-S-T-R-L-E-F-T. And OK. OK, and then we will save that, close and exit. And we can build up our next one. Put that in our selection set. So we have our origin and we have our selection set. And we'll again go to manage. Open our resource file once again, and we will go to create. SSTR right, select OK, save that, close and exit. And that completes the updating of our custom line style for this traffic rail uh, for the customized color table.